I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to our series on IVHL test papers. We have a question based on trigonometry in this particular video to discuss. Now this question is very popular. So I hope its solution will help many students. It has two parts. Part A is to prove tan theta minus pi by 4 equals to sin 2 theta minus 1 over cos 2 theta where theta is not equal to 2n plus 1 times pi by 4 where n belongs to set of integers. Part B is hence or otherwise solve the equation sin 2 theta minus 1 over cos 2 theta equals to square root 3 where theta is between 0 to 2 pi. Now what I have seen that sometimes students they get stuck with part A and they are unable to prove the trigonometric identity. Well the idea here is even if you are unable to do part A you can still do part B using the identity and then you get four marks right. So that is kind of very important to understand. So let's begin actually by solving part B first okay. So so that is a non-traditional approach but very effective for the test paper. So part B is that we have to prove that find the equation solution of the equation that sin 2 theta minus 1 over cos 2 theta equals to square root 3. Now from part A we know that the left hand side is actually equal to tan of theta minus pi by 4. So that should be equal to square root of 3. And that's a very simple equation to prove or to solve, right. So solution we need in the domain 0 to 2 pi. Now tan theta as you know is positive in quadrant 1 and in quadrant 3. So what you need to find is the related acute angle and both the answers. So we can actually look into the special triangle which gives us the result, right. So we have square root 3, 2 and 1 with the angle pi by 3, right. So, so we know that the solution should be like this. Where this angle here is pi by 3, the other angle will be pi plus pi by 3 which is 4 pi by 3. So those are the two solutions, right? So we can write down theta minus pi by 4 should be equal to pi by 3. Or we have theta minus pi by 4 equals to 4 pi by 3. Clear? So let's solve them. Theta equals to pi by 3 plus pi by 4, taking common denominator of 12, we get 4 pi plus 3 pi, and we get the value of theta as 7 pi by 12. The other part, we have theta equals to 4 pi by 3, plus pi by 4, taking common denominator as we did, 16 pi plus 3 pi. That gives you 16 plus 3, 90 pi by 12. So we got two solutions for this. You can say theta equals to 7 pi by 12 and 19 pi by 12. Correct. See, we did the second part first. Just to tell you that if you get stuck with the proving of identity, at least solve the equation, get your answer. Okay, now let's go to part A, which is an identity. We need to show that tan theta minus pi by 4 equals to sine 2 theta minus 1 over cos 2 theta. So it's better to start with right hand side which has got double angle in it. So what is sine 2 theta? 
sin 2 theta is 2 sin theta cos theta. And cos 2 theta, we got three identities, but we can use cos square theta minus sin square theta because that can be factored, right? So I'll rewrite this as 2 sin theta cos theta minus 1 over cos square theta minus sin square theta. Now, 1 is equal to sin square theta plus cos square theta. So, we will write this. So, we are working on the right hand side. It's changing. We have 2 sin theta cos theta minus. We get cos square theta plus sin square theta. Over. We get cos theta minus sin theta times cos theta plus sin theta. Clear? Now, you can see in the numerator, we have cos square theta plus sin square theta. If I take negative common, I get minus 2 sin theta cos theta, right? So, the numerator, I can write negative outside and I can write cos theta minus sin theta whole square. Get the idea? Take minus outside. So, you get cos square theta plus sin square theta minus 2 sin theta cos theta, right? So, that's what we get. And denominator is cos theta minus sin theta times cos theta plus sin theta. Correct. So, one of them gets cancelled cos theta minus sin theta. So, what do you get? You get, let's open the bracket, you get sin theta minus cos theta over sin theta plus cos theta. Now, we can divide by cos theta, both numerator and denominator. So, we get sin theta over cos theta minus cos theta over cos theta, right? And here we get sin theta over cos theta plus cos theta over cos theta, dividing both numerator and denominator by cos theta. So that gives us tan theta minus 1 over tan theta plus 1. Now, tan theta minus 1 over tan theta plus 1. So, you see tan theta minus pi by 4. So, tan theta minus pi by 4 actually is tan theta because tan pi by 4 is 1, right? Tan pi by 4 is 1. So, so we can actually write this as equal to tan theta minus tan pi by 4 over 1 plus tan theta. Now, since tan pi by 4 is 1, I can multiply this by tan pi by 4, right? So, so what we get here is tan theta minus pi by 4. You see that? Which is the left hand side. So, that is how you can prove this identity. Well, I could have started from both the sides and then come to a common ground. However, that shows, you know, greater skills of proving identities. So, tan pi by 4, you know, is 1. And we took advantage of that. Multiplying by 1 doesn't really make any difference and therefore we use that and tan a minus b formula to get our result so i hope these steps are absolutely clear feel free to write your comment share your views if you like and subscribe to my videos that'd be great thanks for your valuable time and all the best
Inspired by Math is for curious minds, creative thinkers, and junior mathematicians ready to explore the world with numbers. Whether you're a student, a parent, or a passionate educator, this journey is for you.